Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at AutoCAD command P circle and how to use it. Let's get started. So I already created the text with different size. The command that we're going to use is T circle. T circle will create either a circle, a slot, or a rectangle around the text or an M text. So to start, let's type in T circle and then spacebar. It will first ask for the selected object or the selected text. So I'm going to select this text and then spacebar. It will ask you for the offset factor. So the default will be 0.35. So I'm just going to hit spacebar. And then it will ask you if you want circle, slot, and rectangular. Let's look at circle first. So it's already been selected as a default. So I'm going to hit spacebar. And then it will ask you if you want constant or variable. Um, we're going to use variable as a default for now. And we're going to discuss the difference between constant and variable later in the video. So here, we're just going to hit the space bar again. And there you go. It created the circle in the text. So the last command that we use is T circle. So we could just hit the space bar again. And then select the object or the text. Space bar. Space bar again. Space bar. And then space bar. Click the space bar again. Select this object spacebar it will ask you for the offset spacebar and then it will ask you for the enclosed text we're going to use circle again spacebar and then variable spacebar again let's use t circle select the object spacebar offset factor 0.35, we want circle, and then we want variable, spacebar. So as you can see, we have a perfect circle around the text. So now in this example, we're going to use the slots. So again, spacebar. And then select the text, spacebar, the offset, spacebar, and then now the slot. So we could just type in S and then spacebar. And then we're still going to use variable, so spacebar. I'm going to zoom in and it will look like this. And then again, spacebar for the T circle command, select the object, spacebar for the fa offset factor, and then the slot, and then the variable. So next, we're going to use rectangle. So spacebar for the command, select the object. Offset factor 0.35, and then here we're gonna type in R and then spacebar and then variable. Lastly, click the spacebar again, select the object, spacebar, offset factor 0.35, spacebar. It's already rectangular, 
spacebar and then it's already variable spacebar. So now the next thing that we're going to look at is the difference between the constant and the variable. So now we're going to hit spacebar again. Select the object. I'm going to select all this object. Spacebar. I'm just going to maintain 0.35. Spacebar. And then we're going to use slot. So type in S and then spacebar. And then type C for constant. And then spacebar. It will ask you maintain constant slot. You want the width, the height, or both. We're going to keep both. So spacebar. And then let's look at variable. So spacebar again. Select all the objects or text. Click the spacebar. 0.35 for the offset factor. And then we're still going to use slot. And then here we're going to use variable. So V and then spacebar. So as you can see, the difference is that in constant, all the slots are identical in height and width. So if I move this, you can see that it is overlaying the other slots. So I'm going to undo that. And then here, the variable, if you can see that the slots height and width is different depending on the, the text size. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.